And what I find remarkable is that here is somebody on whom Scotland's story turns as on a pivot, whose origins are yet marked by such obscurity. It would be bad enough not to know the exact day that he was born, but not to know within a decade the date of his birth. That, I think, is a kind of commentary on the kenosis, the self-denial that Knox himself practised. He did not attract attention to himself, to his own background or his own history and origins. And that's why that uncertainty remains. Now, one reason why people find it hard to accept the later date is that if Knox was born in 1515, he was only 58 years of age when he died. 